There's a video showing the 7.9 inch WaveShare LCD touchscreen. This is booting up correctly. This time we have a mini PC which is feeding it, which is powered by a USB that's linked directly to the back side, which is connected to the touch input as well as the main power for the display and the main HDMI input for the screen. Currently the screen is booting up using a touch panel LCD keyboard to be able to control a few things on here. And as you can see with any type of input, if you touch here, it, it coordinates something on the far right side of the screen. As I don't want to do any of that, it's not recognizing it. So for instance, the not connected, if I tap the not connected, it, it's now selecting the recycling bin. So I tap down here, it selects the recycling bin. Um, it just opened up a whole bunch of new taskbars. If I hit down here at the Microsoft Home button, it does not do anything as well. Um, additionally, I have a mouse which I'm going to use to try to coordinate and then show you a control panel setup. So, So right now it's detecting it's a wave share and I want to go to calibrate. It gives me the calibration screen, which is standard for the resolution. I try to hit the right or top left corner. It does not detect it. it detects it as another input. I have to tap it like ten times. And then even so when it does. still not receiving the input on that on the bottom right side of the screen. But if I touch in the middle, I'm still not detecting it for the input for the calibration. And now it's prompting me to say the calibration data and if I want to hit yes, it still doesn't accept that as an input. I can use my my mouse to be able to select it. But in order to be able to see where it's actually showing up. If I hold my finger down in the center of the screen you can see a whole bunch of lines that are jumping all over. So it's not detecting the individual inputs and detecting like 10 different points right now on the screen. So I'll even do the calibration one more time. Still not detecting that immediate touch screen corner. This one, that one detected it. As you can see, there's numerous other pointer markers that are appearing on the screen at the same time for one touch input. So, do you want to save it? Let's check it again. And now you can see if I touch on the screen, it does not follow any of the normal indications. So, I'm trying to close that tab. Right now, it's selected the other tab rather than actually closing this tab. And right now it's just minimizing it rather than actually selecting it. Um, other things, so for instance, if I go into try to hit YouTube music with my finger, it doesn't wind up opening it, it winds up opening the taskbar. So there's multiple input um, parts that are not correctly synced. Um, even when calibration is done, it's not detected correctly.